never what never eat too much ice cream because you definitely can <laughs> at least whenever you uh you you uh get sick from eating too much sugar because uh <laughs> that's something that happens to me and it is not a fun time man when your heart starts racing and the palpitations start you feel your body sweating a little bit and you just want to hurl not a great time i need to wipe off my beard Mr. Noodle agrees she's pretty lame. <laughs> you used to do that. You used to have an iron stomach. When I was a kid, I ate so much sugar, man. And I was a big pop drinker, too. So I drank a lot of pop. And uh, it's no wonder that I eventually found out I had some... Five gift one to your... <laughs> Dorseman, what are you doing, man? <laughs> What you... Oh, man, Dorseman, you're killing me, man. Thank you, though. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you as well. You really didn't have to do that, but wow, I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, losing my train of thought here, just looking at all the, the subs popping up. That really is amazing. I appreciate you. Um... What was Mr. Noodle saying? Mr. Noodle said... Uh, his face starts to feel funny. Yeah, it does. Uh, anytime I eat anything too savory, though, I don't think it's directly related to uh, the sugar, though. It seems like it's just specific things that are, like, very, very rich in, in sugar and flavor is what uh, makes my face get this weird, like, sweaty, funny feeling. I, I don't really understand it, to be honest, but... God's sakes, did you eat, like, two gallons? <laughs> No, no, like, I don't even, it can just be, like, one or two servings, man, and I'll start to feel like that, and it's weird. Mr. Noodle should have waited. What should you have waited for? And, uh, Nate said, nice, haha. -ha. Leighton is a loser. You didn't have to gift to her. <laughs> Leighton, for anybody that's wondering, Leighton and Mr. Noodle are related to each other. That's why <laughs> she's particularly mean to that person. <laughs> Not just ragging on some random person here. That's, uh, yeah. Should have waited to resub. Why? So that your name would have stayed up in the <laughs> in the screen for a little bit longer, or <laughs> oh, or you mean so to to hit the goal for the month? <laughs> She's a random hobo. You're so mean to you to her. But anyways, all right. Oh, you would have been gifted. That's true. Yeah, I guess so. With all these gift subs that Dorseman's throwing out here. You definitely would have gotten one <laughs> but all right let's uh let's try out this uh this here game what what is it called again athens 2004 let me uh make sure i mark that off as well that i have played it because otherwise i will definitely forget oh and motocross mania 3 let's also i would definitely play this one again would play again yeah for anybody who doesn't know i uh I haven't updated the blog recently, but I also haven't been buying that many PS2 games recently, so that's part of the reason why. Um, but I do have a public uh, Google sheet that lists uh, all of the games that I have and whether I would play them again or, or plan on playing them again or whatever the case may be. So if anybody ever wants to see that for some reason, then it's there. It also has links to the VODs on YouTube. So... Uh, if anybody's looking for like a specific video or whatever, then it's uh try to try to make it easy to find for people. Haru, tell your point parents, tell your parents to let you enjoy life's wonderful gifts and buy you some ice cream. <laughs> oh. Alright, so we got some settings. What kind of settings do we have here? Uh nothing really. Okay. So we got an arcade mode, practice, single event, party, and challenge game modes. No official rules, just maximum fun. Maximum fun here, guys. Maximum. Competition is serious competition featuring official rules, world records, and Olympic medals. Let's try out the arcade mode. I uh, guess we'll do just single event. Just get right into it, I guess. Because, I mean, we would do party, but we only have me. So that's not going to happen. Uh, single event. Pick up and play mode, max of four players. Well, we're gonna be playing with one because I'm forever alone, apparently. We, uh, I mean, screw it, why not? We'll be Australian, Oceania. Uh, 
let's let's be uh, New Zealand. That's that's the the Kiwis, right? We'll do we'll do New Zealand. Screw it. One day, but not today. There's a dust storm outside, messing things out. Ooh, that's rough. A nap sounds like maximum fun. So bye. Yeah, you got up early. Go ahead and have a, a nice little nap there, love. Enjoy it, and I will see you in a little bit. Thank you for being here while you could. Uh, I guess we're we're Stim again, S T M. That's uh that's our new name. We're we're gonna rebrand the stream, the channel, everything. We're just gonna be Stim. Probably be easier to find that in a Google search than stream though, because <laughs> turns out if you try to find a live stream by searching for uh, stream, it uh gets a little rough, man. Not the best SEO. Whenever I picked this name ten years ago or whatever, and leave it playing, just gonna mute me. Okay, that's fine. You don't want the soothing tones of my voice lulling you to sleep. I don't know if I should be offended or not. Let's try, uh, I don't know. Let's try archery. Archery sounds fun. Why is there only the, the women one available? That's weird. Gonna put some friends on? Okay. That's fine. Watch your favorite TV show or one of your favorite TV shows. Whatever. One to change your Twitch name to. I probably should have, but at this point, I feel like it's too late. Even though, the, again, the SEO for it is absolutely terrible, but it is what it is. So, uh, just gonna go with it. Because I originally planned on doing something similar to this, where I'm streaming all the North American PS2 games. I planned on doing something similar with PC games, uh, specifically on Steam, and that's where Stream All the Steam came from. But then, of course, Steam ended up opening the floodgates and now every game known to man is available on Steam. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen, obviously. But I, I kept it. I never ended up changing it. And like I said, I've had this name forever now, so it's just weird to change. And that's also why I shortened it down to stream, too. One, because it's a bit of a mouthful. And two, just because, uh, yeah, not really uh, doing Steam stuff specifically anymore. Uh, and then, okay, so we got to line it up here. That was a bad shot. That's, it's all right. It's all right. We'll get this. Just got to gotta get right in there, man. Get that bullseye. I'm, I don't know how many points it's worth. I'm thinking 10, maybe? Just based off of all the other ones that we've gotten. We need, like, a, a breath thing to let us, oh. I think the, the longer that we try to aim, maybe, the the less precise we get as well. It kind of feels like. We're at the bottom of the leaderboard, so we're not doing great. <laughs> it's all right. That was a practice round. We just had to, we just had to warm up a little bit before we, uh, before we do the real one here. All right, so we're at 4.6, 4.7. Oh no, that's meters a second. I thought that was distance. Oh, no, that's in the red. That's in the black, not even in the red. Crap. Somebody somebody else needs to do poorly so that I don't look so bad. <laughs> I feel like this is much harder to control than it needs to be. Haven't I trained my entire life for this? It should be, like, automatic, man. Come on. Got this. Why does it go so far to the left every time? I'm pushing as far to the... Or to the right, I mean. I know my directions. Nope. Oh! Nice! Wait, is there wind? Is that what the thing in the center is? Is that the wind? Do we have to compensate? Oh. I think maybe it is. So there's the little flag in front of us kind of showing us where the wind is. Which direction the wind's pointing. And then that's the wind's speed. Oh, that changes a lot of things. I was just trying to shoot in the center, man. So you can't just aim for the center. Okay. There's actually some, some skill involved here. You know a game... Hey! That's like a perfect bullseye. You know a game that... Uh, I can't remember the name of it. It was a Looney Tunes game. I think it was on PS1. Or no, Super Nintendo, I think it was actually that uh, you played a lot of mini-games and things. 
And I remember having a lot of fun with that as a kid, but never getting very far in it. That's something that I would love to try again at some point. I do have a Super Nintendo, so maybe I'll uh, search it up and, and pick it up one of these days. But I remember that being a lot of fun. It had The reason it made me think of it is because it had a bunch of sports stuff like this, right? Just sports mini games that you were trying to, to, to play and do. And, uh, okay, the wind is slowing down. Nope, that's like not even... We hit. I'm kind of surprised that we hit. I half expected that to miss, to be honest. Do any of the other buttons do anything? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, eight. So, I think maybe, unlike darts, maybe the different colored rings don't actually mean anything. It's just how far from the center we are, I'm thinking. Okay, the wind is slowing down a lot. There's hardly a wind at this point. Okay, another eight. We'll take it. We'll take it. Take what we can get. We're, uh... We're at the bottom every round, so... <laughs> Not great. Well, uh, I think maybe we'll try a different mini game because that one obviously was not, not for us. We did not do particularly well there. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else do we have? We have so that was archery. Let's try shooting. We'll do skeet. I like all the little characters. Those are kind of cute. They should have done the characters for the actual play instead of making it look realistic. <laughs> Although then I guess it probably wouldn't have been a very good Olympics game. But, you know. I wonder if these are real Olympic contenders from 2004. Do we... What do we... Okay, pool. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm also playing through the OBS window, so reaction, uh, like reaction time based stuff is a little bit hard here. Okay, I think I want to shoot a little bit further down. Okay, I got one. I got one. Disappointed with that round. The pressure seems to be affecting him. Excuses? Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, look. <laughs> You try playing a reaction time based game through uh, OB OBS capture on a console meant for a CRT. All right. <laughs> All right. So it's suggesting that I shoot like there, but I want to shoot like over here. Ah, too early. Trash. Trash. <laughs> oh. I'm nervous now, man. Everybody's watching and whatnot. All right. Oh, that was way too quick. <laughs> I didn't expect it to, to come out so quickly. I thought it was going to take a second. <laughs> yeah. Skeet, you mean? Yeah, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> All right, so we're doing high bird. Okay, so I feel like shooting kind of over here. It's kind of where we want to do. What? That was not a miss. That was a perfect shot. Game is rigged, I tell ya. My shells are filled with popcorn or something. What? <laughs> that looked good to me. That one looked good. I don't know how we missed that. I think we've discovered, though, that basically anything that has to do with shooting is just not made for me. I can't. I can't do it. Instant replay. Need to rewind it back a little bit there. Can we get the ref in here? <laughs> Got a solid zero on that round. Rank eight. New Zealand is not having a good showing, man. <laughs> It just turns out New Zealand is not good at, uh... <laughs> I, I think they randomize the amount of time that it takes for a skeet to come out. Which makes sense, I guess, right? Because, uh, if it was always the same, then people would probably just practice the timing. I was trying to lead at that time, but... 
it did not did not work out. That's how fishing is for you in Stardew Valley. No, the fishing in Stardew Valley's fun. It is great. I honestly think the mini game is perfect the way it is. I know that a lot of people don't care for it, but I actually really like it. Over here trying to make New Zealand fail when it's where Lord of the Rings was filmed. Hey, it's a very beautiful country. They're just terrible at uh, shooting whatever those things are actually called. Because I don't think they're just called Ski, right? Don't they have a, a proper name? I think I maybe need to lead it a little bit. Both because of the lag that I have in my setup, but also uh, maybe there's a little bit of travel time for the bullet or something. I don't know. Clay birds? Yeah, I mean, fair. That's one thing to call them, I guess. I'm not sure what the little display in the bottom right-hand corner there is either. Or just clay shooting, yeah. Okay, so we definitely need to lead it a little bit. Definitely need to lead it a little bit. Look like uh, when it was just outside my reticule is when I need to try to pull the trigger. I would love to try clay shooting at some point in real life. I don't think I'd be very good at it in real life either, though, just to, to be honest, but... Oh, that came out fast. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they randomize the speed on them as well, or... I don't know. Let's uh, let's go for the, the apex here, the, the top of the arch. Hey, there we go. We got both. Perfect. Nothing too spectacular, he said. Did you hear that? Man, that was some perfect shooting on display here by uh, STM, the New Zealand skeet men. <laughs> Oh, uh, I think we... Oh, this is from, like, right over the shoulder. Oh, no. Oh, okay, well... <laughs> disappointed with that round. The pressure seems to be affecting him. Yes, the pressure's really getting to me here. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Did they have the people in the, uh, the audience all plugging their ears? It's gonna be fast. Nice. <laughs> Honestly, I felt like I pulled the trigger on that one way too early, but it went through, so hey, we'll take it. We got a Station 8 low bird here. Oh, nope. <laughs> Not happening. We tried. Alright, what's uh <laughs> what are, what are the other mini games? This one's this one's not going so well for us. I still need to pull up my schedule, too. I need to do that before I forget. All right, so... Settings, channel. Let's see here. Schedule. Yeah, so Lord of the Rings is next. We'll be starting that right around four, and then Fable, and then Ratchet and Clank. Okay, I thought that was the order I had things slated for, but... Uh, as I've mentioned before, memory not exactly my strong point, sadly. Let's try uh, let's try some track, man. I was never particularly good at track myself, but screw it. Let's try the 200 meter women's track. Is it going to be one of those things where you just like have to hit two buttons as quickly as you can to run fast? Or do we need to break out like the, the DDR pad and actually run in place? <laughs> I remember that being a thing for the original Nintendo that we had growing up, man, for like the, the track and field game or whatever. And you would actually kind of like run in place on the on the pad, hitting the buttons with your feet to run. There were other games that you could play on track and field too, if I remember correctly, but I uh, don't remember how they all worked. All these low poly models with these weird textures just look fantastic. False start? I don't know how to start. <laughs> Is, is there like a... Okay, how to play. Hold and release the L1 button for the start. Run using X and O. When approaching the finish line, use the L1 to lunge. Okay. So hold and release L1 for start. Run using X and O. Okay. I think I got this. 
Oh. There we go. You just gotta, you just gotta mash, man. Just mash X and O. Ah. My fingers. My fingers. How close are we to the finish line? Oh no, I'm actually getting worn out. Uh, there we go. Two hands. Two hands. That's what we needed. Considering how bad our start was, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Robo Roo, is that what you changed your name to? I'm assuming this is the same Roo, right? I like it. I like it. Oh, we got a nice little replay here. Look at that. Look at that late start, man. That was terrible. All right, we definitely need two hands. My arm got worn out so quick. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we took third, though. Not too bad. Not too bad. 40 seconds ahead of, or, or 0.4 seconds, I guess, ahead of fourth place. We got this. Oh, wait, was that it? Was that the whole event? It's not like best two out of three? Crap. Okay, we're going to try that one again. Maybe a uh, 100 meter dash just because I uh, obviously don't have the stamina for this. <laughs> All right, save successful. Back to menu. I'm going to try this one again. I am the robo Roo. Fear me. Very scary. <laughs> uh, the Robo Roo. Oh man, from Winnie the Pooh. You are Roo, but Robo? That's actually kind of scary. I could see that going mad with laser eyes. It's got to have laser eyes. <laughs> All right, gonna try the men's this time. We did the women's last time, so why not? All right, we gotta, we gotta be prepared here. Oh, oh, another late start. Uh, okay. Here we go. Okay, we're not taking last place at least. That's good. Fourth again. Okay, let's try let's try a longer one before we give up on the dash entirely. There's also the lunging at the end that you're supposed to do too, but I'm too busy mashing buttons with both hands to <laughs> try to get over there. To the to the L1 button, man. I need to like keep my my pinky on it or something like that got to hold the controller real weird here it's funny is the reason you chose ruse because you were eating a bowl of cocoa ruse very nice okay okay you just could not think of anything else <laughs> hey fair man i've been there <laughs> cocoa ruse i mean i haven't cereal wise i don't eat a whole lot of it but uh captain crunch is probably my absolute favorite cereal. I love that stuff. I don't really eat it anymore because it's it's relatively high in sugar and I do have problems with my sugar. Um, and of course it just completely destroys your mouth, which sucks, but I still, I just, I love the taste of it. It is the best. Here we are, here we are. We gotta, okay, so we have a, we have a heart meter this time. Are we doing something wrong? I feel like we're doing something wrong. Hold on. How to play. Hold and release L1 button for the start. Use the right analog stick to control your speed. Oh. Oh, this one's different. No wonder we're, like, falling behind. Use the left analog stick to steer left and right and overtake other athletes. Watch your heart meter. Run too hard too quickly and you will tire. At the final lap indicator, the size of your heart meter determines the size of your second wind bar. Call upon your second wind using L1. Oh, this is complicated. There's, like, actual stuff we need to know. There we go. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna overtake you all. This is weird playing in first person. My... My hearts don't seem to be going down. Oh, there it is. Now it's going down. Okay. Okay, so we probably wanna... Probably wanna back off a bit now. Just, uh... Kinda keep up with... Oh, just a little bit behind first place guy here. Can we get into the left lane, maybe? There we are. Shorter turns, man. That can make all the difference. Okay, we probably don't want to go out of bounds, though. They should really have tutorials. Yeah, I mean, they might in one of the other game modes or something like that. It may just be because I'm in the, like, single event quick play sort of deal. That's why they don't. That's a possibility. Although, I do wonder, like, how much time they would really spend on making a, just a generic Olympics game. Like, Nintendo makes those, uh, or maybe it's Sega, whichever one. One of them makes the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. And, uh, I feel like they probably put a good amount of time into theirs, although I've never tried one. 
But, like, this just seems generic as hell, to be honest, you know? Okay, this dude's, like, pulling ahead. I feel like he's gonna end up running out of stamina, though. I want to, uh, I want to slow down a little bit. Just coming up to 800 meters. We're, like, halfway through, and we have, like, half our bar left. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna slow down a bit and just kind of take it easy, catch our breath a little bit. Oh, we get hearts back. Cool. Okay, I didn't realize that. Okay, sprint for it. Let's go. Run. Run, STM. Run. I don't think we can run any faster. <laughs> yeah, this is this is full speed. Okay, so let's uh let's back it off a little bit. What I can see from the mini map, I don't really know how to read it, but from what I can tell, all the other people are still pretty far behind me. I'm hoping the dude in first place kind of runs out of steam at some point. And then we can overtake him. Although, okay, everybody seems to be catching up. Maybe now is the time to just kind of go for it. I, I have it tilted full tilt. But I don't seem to be picking up any speed. I'm not picking up any... I don't know why. Why am I not picking up speed? <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're just walking now. <laughs> yep. I don't, I don't, <laughs> that, I, uh, yep, this is, this is life. All right, so this is the final lap, right? So we should be able to get our second wind here. Final lap, speed boost. And that, that's it. Our speed boost is gone. Well, yep, I tried second wind, Dorseman. It did <laughs> nothing. I don't know if it's because we had no hearts left or what, but, uh, I think we I think we're just gonna walk it out. <laughs> Worst speed boost ever. Not kidding, man. <laughs> uh, that first place dude, I don't know if that was like uh it's this game's probably too old old for uh is it Usain Bolt? I think that's how you say his name, right? Oh he was a, a sprinter anyways, wasn't he? Like a, a short distance runner. Not a uh, 1,500, 1,600 meter, whatever it is that we're on. 1,500 meter. But uh, that dude, like, finished so much faster than everyone else, man. And then you have us, you know. We're gonna, we're gonna do it in, like, five minutes. Were we just lapped, or was there actually somebody behind us during all of this? <laughs> oh, we can, we can kind of look around. Look at all the neat scenery. Wave hi to all of our adoring fans over there. Hello. Little uh, PNG or, or JPEGs of people. You just got lapped. Yeah, I, I'm thinking that's what happened, too, to be honest. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, <laughs> I'm waiting for us to, like, fall to our hands and knees and just kind of crawl over the finish line is what I'm waiting for. Oh, we can actually do a different view. That's much better than the first person view. That felt weird. Yeah, I like this a lot better. Uh, okay. So, so far we know that shooting is not our strong suit. Um, running is not our strong suit. Maybe we'll be better at weightlifting. Let's try that. <laughs> the short sprints I feel like we could do decent with if we, uh, if we practice it a little bit. Because it's mostly about mashing, it seems like, and that's something that I'm not terrible at, at least. 105 kilogram men, clean and jerk. I don't know what that means, but, uh, sure. We'll try it. You know, I bet I could beat any of these Olympic runners over here at, uh, no cursing. Okay, I can do that. I forget how long that one's supposed to last for, but I generally try not to curse too much anyways. So, <laughs> I think we can do that. But anyways, I bet I could be any of these Olympic strongmen or runners or whatever at a, a nice game of Guitar Hero. Here, you curse like a sailor. I do outside of stream and whatnot, but I just try not to be... Uh, okay, so it's X circle. We got this. Uh, I, I try not to too much on stream, though, is what I was saying. Outside of stream, I, I'm pretty bad about it as well a lot of times. But, okay, I can only... I'm over here saying I'm not too bad at mashing, but I don't know what to do after we get here. 
to this point? How do we get it up? Oh, we press L1. Okay. There we go. There we go. And then we mash to <laughs> the next part. Okay, okay. Now this is Stardew Valley fishing. No, he didn't have it under control at all. Wait, okay. We need to we need to look at the how to play. The lift and gauge is split into three stages. Clean, jerk, and hold. For the clean and jerk stages, use the X and O button to power your lifting strength, clear the dividing line, then press L1. For the hold stage, you must maintain your lifting strength using X and circle until the three clear lights have been eliminated. Okay, let's restart. We can do this. You can save. We can do this. You're about to spend a decent amount of points. What are you going to do? to you? Are you going to make me sing song for five minutes or something stupid? <laughs> Get that clean jerk. I got this. I got this. We can do it. There is another uh, goal that I have in mind for you guys, by the way. One that actually includes the Dorseman. Uh, me and him just have to find a time that we'll be able to do it. And I need to decide exactly how many points it's going to cost. Because we reached the... Oh, you redeemed sing mode. Look at that. We... <laughs> uh, this is for, for... Hold on. I got to... I gotta look at this. Just got here for sing mode. I have to. I have to look at this. What does that entail? I set these up forever ago. Sing mode does what exactly? Oh no! Don't report. I'm not trying to report it. Uh, I can't remember how long I have to sing for. <laughs> Y'all are the worst. Uh oh. What uh? And won't let me check. Five minutes? Is it five minutes? Five minutes does sound right. So how the hell am I even going to do this? How am I going to talk and sing at the same time? I guess. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh. <laughs> Here I am singing a song about what I'm doing. I don't know how to do it, but this is what we're doing now. <laughs> you guys are the worst and I hate you all. Optijack was gonna redeem it too. <laughs> I don't know what to say or sing. <laughs> <laughs> uh a b c d e f g i don't know what you want from me <laughs> oh <laughs> i am dying over here i don't know what to talk about every time i try to sing it, I lose my train of thought. <laughs> oh. I looked at the clock before I started. It's been two minutes. I have three more. So it's 222.5 kilos and his second lift. <laughs> oh. It's hard to play a game like this, singing while I try to do things. <laughs> I'm glad I set that cooldown time. Hopefully it's long and not too short. <laughs> the, <laughs> the only game I can think of, the only game I can... The only tune I can think of is ABC, and that's about it. <laughs> Just a little tilt to the left, but it was okay. I changed it. Optijack, thank you, though. I forgot for the last game, too. I would tell you what it's called, but it's kind of hard when I sing this song. 
It's impossible to drink while you sing. I think I would die if I tried. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have a camera, because if I did, you probably would make me dance for your entertainment, and I would not just gurgle the drink that's close enough. I mean, I can if that's what you want to hear. It's a little odd, but it is what it is. I don't know what to do at this moment. <laughs> Steps up to the bar, it's I hate you all. I want you to know that this is not how I want this show. <laughs> Only one more minute now, it's almost done. I'm so glad. Uh, I hope you had fun. <laughs> this is way worse than I thought it would be. I admit, I thought it would be easy. But it turns out trying to sing and talk is a little hard and a little harsh. And 25 more, you're going to redeem it again? I don't think so. I can just turn it off. <laughs> just stick to one melody. Don't overwork yourself. My timer's up. I'm done. You're all the worst. <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> you cause this for yourself. It's interaction for the stream. You gotta have it. Don't you dare. No, I won't disable it. I'll be a good sport. Just stick to one melody. Don't overwork yourself. Man, I literally couldn't think of anything. I was like, oh no. What is it? ABC? That's all I could think of. That was it. Uh, next time it'll be Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> oh, that's why they're there though. To have fun. Get you guys uh, interacting and everybody can have a good laugh at my expense, I suppose. Mr. Noodle's going to be a little upset because I'm pretty sure she's... uh already started her nap and can't hear and that was one that she's mentioned wanting to try before making me do that's the same melody i know <laughs> that's the point don't tell everybody <laughs> oh but yeah i'll have to check i started with greg hastings paintball tournament maxed and just completely forgot to change the game so uh Thank you, thank you for uh, for pointing that out, for reminding me, because yeah, I, I played through a whole game without changing it. Athens 2004, man, it's the Olympic 2004, the official Olympics 2004 game. <laughs> oh, didn't even see that. That's what you said, LMFAO. Yeah, 105 kilogram men, clean and jerk, man. We've got to clean. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna do one more. Um, and then we're going to switch over to Lord of the Rings, and while I take a tiny bit longer break, because we have been going nearly three hours now, so I'll probably take like a uh, five-ish minute break. You know, use the bathroom, make sure I have refreshments and all the stuff that I need, and then we'll switch over to that. But we're going to do one more little game here. Should we do track, field, swimming, gymnastics, or jumping? We tried weightlifting, archery, and shooting. I am terrible at all those. I'm also terrible at track, so skip that one as well. Field, swimming, gymnastics, jumping. Which one should we do? Which one? There's a... I can do a pole. I've never actually ran a pole before. Create a new pole question which uh area we have field we have swimming we have gym and jump duration one minute there you go go ahead everybody have fun if anybody actually wants to vote in this stupid poll but uh <laughs> Field, swimming, gymnastics, or jumping. What are the actual categories? So here we have a bunch of different kinds of jumping, or I'm sorry, of fielding. Uh, here we have a bunch of different kinds of swimming. Down here we have a bunch of different kinds of gymnastics. 
uh, like ring men. We have jumping, we have individual mixed, and uh, that's it. That's the only event there, I guess. Man, the Olympics don't have nearly as many events as I, I thought they had, it turns out. <laughs> it's all track and field based, and then it's like, only men can shoot. You only have skeet men. There's no skeet women. That doesn't exist, apparently. And then archery. Only women can do archery. No men. It's impossible. And uh, only only 105 kilogram men can clean and jerk. That's it. Okay, so we got some votes for swimming there, and I think that is the the winner, right? Yep, we got uh, three votes for swimming from Rue. Taking it into the lead. So sure, why not? Screw it. We will do some swimming. Skeet women is too far. <laughs> None of that now. All right, so we got the, the breaststroke, the freestyle, the backstroke, or the butterfly. I mean, it's got to be the breaststroke, right? It's got to be. And uh, women or men, what do we want? Well, I mean, since women don't get a skeet, women can uh, women can do the breaststroke. How about that? <laughs> that seems fair. <laughs> What was that pull? What in the hell are those graphics? Yeah, man. This is the PS2 at its finest. Clearly. We should uh we should probably check how to play. Not even the 3D ones, you mean the 2D? Honestly, I thought the 2D ones were kinda cute. I kinda wish they would have done that instead of these uh wonderful looking character models that they have. Hold and release L1 button for the start, swim using X and O buttons. When you need to breathe, breathe. Okay. Uh, breathe under K would be a sway. Press the L1 button as quickly as possible to maximize your speed through the water. When approaching the finish line, use the L1 button to lunge. Okay, so we got to, we, we just hold L1 and then we mash and then we breathe when we have to breathe. Uh, release. Where's the breathe meter? Is that the, the top left there? Okay, we we breathed, we breathed, my fingers, my fingers. Oh uh, no, oh uh, no, we're losing ground. Breathe. Oh man, this is actually harder than I would have expected. I get worn out so easily anymore, guys. Breathe, breathe. Oh, we are in like last place, aren't we? Oh man, why is my arm so tired already? How many laps do we have to do? Hopefully only two. Oh no. Is that our speed meter? Because if so, I feel like we are very slow. Why are we so slow? Can you just mash one button or do you have to mash both? I think you have to mash both. Maybe I'm actually going too fast for it. Maybe I'm going too fast and not being like precise enough alternating between the two. I think maybe that's the problem. Although it worked fine in weightlifting. I don't know. I don't know. We're just we're just not good at swimming either. It turns out Athens 2004, a not so great game that we're not so great at. That's fair. Really poor display, that is rude. These people are not very mean, or not very mean, not very nice. All right, should we, should we, uh, should we call it there? It's 10 tail. 10 till 4. I think it's I think it's time to switch over. <laughs> we're going to we're going to switch on over to the uh, to the break scene. You guys can enjoy a little bit of Piglet's big uh, game, I think it's called. And then uh, we're going to come back with uh, Lord of the Rings the Third Age. We'll be playing that for roughly 3 hours. It's a game from um my PS2 Gauntlet that I started but one that I actually wanted to finish. So I'm going to I'm going to do that. And, uh, then, what was after that? Then Fable, and then Ratchet and Clank. I am terrible at remembering things. Uh, hold a message for reason. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, so... <laughs> Rue, yeah, so he, he allowed, we don't have a problem with the, the non-binary thing, and uh, we, we allowed that. It's actually just Streamlabs, though, the cursing, 
is what was wrong with that there. So I apologize for your messages being deleted. That was uh, not intentional. It was just because of the, the use of the F word. While obviously I'm not a purely PG stream, I, uh, I tried to keep it somewhat decent. Uh, thank you for allowing it though, OptiJack. I was perfectly fine with the message. It's just, uh, yeah, <laughs> Streamlabs and the F word don't get along so well. But uh, if you if you want to send it again without the F word, because I actually didn't get a catch what the whole message was. I just saw non-binary F, because that's what was highlighted. <laughs> so, one, I apologize for you being timed out. But yeah, if you want to resend the message, I, I do not mind at all. Well, you're good. I am a man and you agree. I didn't see the message. I don't know what people are agreeing to or disagreeing to. <laughs> um, because what you permitted wasn't Streamlabs. You permitted it under Twitch's uh, modding tools. And... Once it was permitted under Twitch's uh, mod rules, it went through and then Streamlabs saw it and banned it. But it wasn't actually banned through Streamlabs because of the non-binary thing. Um, yeah, yeah, you actually permitted the whole non-binary F is what you permitted technically through Twitch. Um, but Streamlabs still doesn't allow the F word. Um, I don't think it's set up to have any problems with the term non-binary if it does i'll need to fix that because we are inclusive here it was about how he said men were useless and you agree to someone born a woman but you identify as non-binary gotcha okay yeah well uh optijack used to leap from a term oh okay <laughs> thank you for fixing that optijack and uh yeah well i mean <laughs> i think uh both genders have their uh they're useless people in them, as well as non-binary people, you know. There are groups in every group, or there are people in every group that are useless as all hell. <laughs> we love you, Ruin, we support your sailor mouth. Yeah, yeah, just off of stream, I support your, your sailor mouth. In stream, it's gotta be kept to a minimum, that's all. <laughs> Actually got a huge sense of euphoria when I called you he and... Oh, <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, well, I just, I don't even think about it. I call people man all the time. That's just kind of generally what I do. Like, there's a, a, a girl at work that I work with that I just call man constantly. And that's just kind of, I guess, my default. Probably because I am a guy myself. So I just kind of default to viewing people that way. But we're happy to call you whatever the hell you want to be called in this stream, man. Like I said, we are an inclusive bunch here. So, but... Regardless, I am going to go ahead and take that sh quick break and then uh, and then come on back and play Lord of the Rings The Third Age. So I hope y'all will still be around in roughly five minutes. This one doesn't have to be too long. I just need to quickly use the bathroom, make sure all my drinks and everything are good, and then we'll be back up. Her name is Man. Her name's... N sure, whatever. <laughs> Call everyone dude or man. Yeah, same, basically. I don't say dude as much as I used to, but I still say man as much. I demand this as my new name, yes. <laughs> Alright, man. I can do that. <laughs> you might have to uh, uh, remind me at some point to call you man, not Rue, because now I'm in the habit of doing that, but is this why you don't live stream playing games with David and I because this stream is PG-13? Basically, yeah. I trust you to, to keep the cursing to a minimum, Optijack, but uh, not so much David. <laughs> David is ridiculous. <laughs> Call everyone lad. All right. On that note, I'm I'm leaving. I'll be back, guys. <laughs> because I am too small. There must be a way to get through this cotton can. You got it, man. I will know what to do. Oh, of course. Go talk to Al. Al can press the button.